getting old, my friend. You appreciate the wrong figures. I leave that to you, Tomas. I will pay for the fiddlers. Hewitt, Edward, Cat. my dear Count. Sevilla was the Matador's greatest afternoon. Two ears and a tail. Yes, but in Granada, he got also the hoof. Ah, that was an afternoon to remember, Matador. The first time they called you El Magnifico. What do you say, Tomas? Can you resolve our difference of opinion? I can only compound it. For me, the Plaza de Toros, Mexico City. Yes, I like Mexican bulls. Very brave. <laughs> Oh, and here, senores, we have our own brave bull, Captain McAllister. Captain, Mr. Figueroa, my horse, the Count de Vallares. I've met the council before. How are you, Captain? Sit down, sit down, gentlemen. Thank you. Well, what did you see? A shadow. That follows. Shadows don't have fingerprints. And neither does this. Any idea who it belongs to? Me. Pepe, why don't you keep wooden knives like other saloons? I'm sorry, Captain, but uh, La Casa del Gato is noted for its authenticity. Pepe, my old friend, I am forced to agree with the Captain. Your authenticity could have been the death of me. Mr. Figueroa, 80% of all murders are committed by friends or relatives. That means it's five to four. You know who tried to get you. Then I must be the exception that proves your rule, Captain. In Madrid or Barcelona, there might be a few uh, husbands anxious to cut my throat, but this is my first trip to your city. Politics, perhaps. Is it possible someone could be opposed to the reason for your trip? Only if they oppose friendship. The Spanish government has sent the Matador 
as an ambassador of goodwill. Fine. As a first step, we'll give police protection. No, no, I think not. An ambassador of goodwill protected by uh, police cordon is a contradiction. As a matter of fact, Captain, the less publicity we have on this, the better, I think. I agree. Now, if you will excuse me. Matador, you are too brave for your own good. Once, perhaps. In any case, I have my own protection. Federico and Luis. In the bull ring, there are none better. But in this arena, this man is numero uno. Please, as a favor to me. Tomas, hold me, please. No, I do not wish it. Whoever it was will try again. Miguel, it is necessary. He's right, Matador. And if I am wrong, he will have been inconvenienced. But if I am right, this man will preserve your life. All right. We are friends? We are friends. Then I have earned a favor? A thousand. Name one. Stay away from Miguel Figueroa. Let the police take care of him. I'm afraid for you. Please. Unfortunately, Pepe asked for his favor first. I don't want you killed. I can't argue with that. Then just how much do you owe Pepe? My life. Good night. Good night. Gracias, Carlos. Senor, I did not mean to listen, but I have known Serafina since she was a child. There is so much you do not understand about her. One could say that at any time to any man about any woman. Senor, Serafina has had much unhappiness with love. She has a love for you, Senor, but her love is watched by the evil spirit. With all whom she favors, it is the same. There was Paolo, her dancing teacher. They were beautiful together, like a poet. He came to his death in an alley in Madrid, an accident. Then came Jose. He disappeared from the face of the earth on the day before their wedding. I don't plan to join them, my friend. Enrico Pasa, estupendo. Tremendo. Viva el matador. Bravo, matador. Ole! Magnífico derechazo. Bravo, matador. Tremendo. Ole! 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 Olé, matador, nunca muere. Qué derechazo. Significa muerte. Olé, olé. Olé, olé. Ahí va. Olé, olé. Olé, olé. Olé, olé. Fantástico, fantástico. Bueno, ahora, es bastante. Nada más. Olé. For you, Matador. No, not for me. For that Miguel Figueroa. For him. Before the last charge of the bull. The last flash of the horn. Before the last corrida. The last moment of the last afternoon. Five in the afternoon. Eran las cinco en punto de la tarde. Five by all the clocks. In the distance, the gangrene now comes at five in the afternoon. Horn of the lily through green groins at five in the afternoon. The wounds were like burning suns at five in the afternoon. It was five in the afternoon. Ah, that fatal five in the afternoon. It was five in the shade of the afternoon. Now he sleeps without end. 
Now the moss and the grass open with sure fingers the flower of his skull. Forgive me. Forgive me. Garcia Lorca. Si. A poet needs no forgiveness from us. Lorca was a man of my blood, my soil, my time. He was a man who knew death while still in the womb of his youth, while the moment of his perfection still lasted. But to reach that moment of perfection, to know that in that moment you were the greatest of all matadors. Sadly enough, Count, your use of the past tense is correct. Oh, excuse me. It's all right. The horn was the occupational hazard. To the crowd, I only gave a leg. Manoletti gave his life. But to the aficionados, you are still numero uno. Apparently, there is one exception. Or Senor Cut would not be here, eh? And now, amigos, buenas noches. Buenas noches. I'm sure he will be safe here. But let's hope so. Car tonight. Well, no one. The key's right. That's funny. Where's Peppy now? He went backstage, I think. Thank you. Peppy. I'm glad to see you looking all right. Tomas, look. Bloodstains.
why, Carlos? He did it for me. He was trying to protect me. For Miguel? My father was his picador. At one time, we were engaged. He has always wanted me back. I ran away, kept changing my name, but he followed me everywhere. Finally, he found me again, here. And now he will do anything, kill anyone to take her back. That is why I meant to kill him. Only his death will give her a chance at life. You're liars, both of you. Miguel is the liar. He isn't crippled. He lost his nerve with the first horn that gored him. He can't stand to face the horns again, and he can't stand to lose the glory. He can't stand to lose anything. Are you accusing Miguel of being a coward as well as a killer? I have heard enough. My own eyes have seen him in the rings of Barcelona, Sevilla, Madrid. I have never known a braver man in my life. I thought so too, once. Are you willing to face Miguel with these accusations? No. I am afraid of him. I think you will agree, senor. I have more reasons to be afraid of her. You didn't tell me you knew her. For her sake, senor. Her father was one of my picadors. He was killed throwing off the bull that gored me. She was present. It was tragic. It uh, did something to her mind. She has always blamed me for it. She imagines all these terrible things about me. Then you didn't follow her to the city? No. <laughs> now that I know she is here, I am leaving. Pepe will ask how you want it handled. With compassion, senor. She is sick. Out of my gratitude to her father, ask Pepe to keep her on. Serafina. She's gone. He's dead. And there's nothing imaginary about it. But she could not have been telling the truth. Not about Miguel. I believe you forgot your sash. Nada, nada. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Pero qué pasa? ¡Luis! Señor Cat. Señor Cat. Matador. What is this, señor? The moment of truth, Matador. Señor Cat. Matador. I've been thinking of your story of Serafina's imaginings. But I find Carlos has even more complex fantasies. He believes he's been murdered. Matador! 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 I've always admired Spanish architecture. Beautiful, yet strong. What do you want of me, senor? I told you, the truth. How much do you really miss the corrida? The glory, the horns? Better to ask how much I miss the use of my leg. Your friend Arusa lost the use of his arm. Yet he returned to the ring to fight on horseback, Portuguese style. Can't you ride a horse? Are you calling me a coward, senor? So, you believe her lies? I believe a man has been murdered. And Serafina is missing. We have many excellent doctors here, Matador. Why don't you let them prove Serafina a liar? I need prove nothing, Senor Cat. Then you force me to make my own examination. You're very agile for a man with a bad leg.
at all. Did you have so little brave blood that it all ran out from the first wound? Do not quote Coffee House definitions of courage to me, senor. You know what five o'clock in the afternoon means? It means each Sunday must be better than the last. the moment of truth. You shall know it. I am numero uno in everything. Especially with Serafina, to possess her, I have seen more than one man killed. One more will not trouble me. Matador's leg. No, the Simon lost. Senor, you have brought this grace on my house and to our country. I will call the police. First, the girl. What girl? Serafina. Where is she? I will take you to her. Tears for Thomas. Tom. Olé, olé. 